net income of UAE banks rises 5.6 percent, and the Turkish Central Bank lifts its interest rate to 40 percent. You're watching The Daily Brief with Forbes. I'm Ramia Faraj. The total Q3 net income for UAE banks rose by 5.6 percent quarter on quarter to $5.53 billion on higher net interest income. That's according to Alvarez and Marcel, who say net interest income rose by 5.5 percent in Q3 compared to Q2. Deposits grew by 3.9 percent quarter on quarter. Loans and advances grew 2.4 percent. The UAE Central Bank has mirrored the Fed's rate hikes, with inflation still above the target levels. Alvarez and Marcel only expect rate cuts after mid-2024. Turkey's central bank surprised the market with a larger-than-expected interest rate hike as it ramped up its fight against inflation and efforts to support the slumping lira. The bank lifted its policy rate by 5 percentage points to 40 percent. It's the six months of a tightening cycle that has more than quadrupled borrowing costs. Eurozone business activity fell in November for the sixth straight month, but the rate of decline slowed from October. S&P Global's PMI improved to 47.1 in November from 46.5 in October. That figure still points to a risk of recession in Q4, with a result below 50 indicating contraction. Looking at British companies in particular, S&P Global's PMI revealed a marginal return to growth at 50.1 in November after three months of contraction. It's up from 48.7 in October and above the 50-point threshold with growth for the first time since July. Still, the downturn in orders continued in the face of higher interest rates and weak demand. The pause in interest rate hikes and a slowdown in inflation are, however, supporting business activity. Stellantis is recalling more than 32,000 hybrid Jeep Wrangler SUVs from the U.S. market, citing a potential fire risk. Officials say eight of the plug-in vehicles have caught fire, six of them while connected to chargers. All the SUVs were switched off at the time. They say the vehicles may be driven, however, owners are advised to refrain from recharging the hybrids and to park them away from structures and other vehicles until they're remedied. The recall applies to some 2021 through 2024 Wrangler 4XE models. And that brings us to today's Forbes Real Time Billionaires ranking, which tracks the daily wins and losses of the world's wealthiest people. Our biggest winner today is Jeff Bezos. He's up $2.8 billion now with net wealth of $169.4 billion. Our second biggest winner today is Mark Zuckerberg, up $1.6 billion with net wealth of $120.9 billion. And our biggest loser is Elon Musk, down $5 billion with net wealth of $241.1 billion. Check out our website and our social media for all of the latest billionaires news. And a record 518 million Indian viewers watched the recently concluded men's cricket World Cup matches on Walt Disney-owned television channels during the 48-day event. Disney bought digital and streaming rights to show the tournaments in India from 2024 to 2027 by paying around $3 billion. The numbers offer some relief for Disney's India unit, which is exploring options of finding a JV partner or selling its business. I'm Ramia Faraj. This is The Daily Brief. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.